Hey guys, I'm David and welcome to Out of Box Collector where we unbox and review different kinds of collectibles. Today, we'll be looking at the Ben Presto World Figure Coliseum of Himiko Toga from My Hero Academia. If you've been following our channel, you already know that this is one of my favorite Ben Presto figure lines. And I think this is one of the best lines of My Hero Academia. So, let's unbox the figure. So this is Himiko Toga. And this is the front. And uh, you can see the volume 5 of the figure from the Band Presser figure Coliseum. And I really like the box art of these figures. So this is the other side. It shows more of her photo. So this is the figure A. This is the one that I got. And this also has a figure B. Uh, the uncolored version. And this is the artist who made the sculpt of Himiko Toga. And this is the other side. It looks really good. This is the top and the bottom. So let's open the box. So this is what we get from the box. Let's put it all together. So this is the body and so far the sculpt looks really nice. Okay, there are a few pieces on this figure and I'll try to figure out how to put them in. It doesn't come with any instructions whatsoever. So all that I have are reference photos from the box. So let's see how to put it together. Before you put the head on the neck, you have to position her mask first here so it actually goes in between her hair let's put it in you just have to slide it like so and there you have it it looks quite nice this is her backpack so it only goes one way so you can see the peg on her belt like over there and there's a hole on this part so you just have to slide it in like so okay, let's just be careful not to bend it too much because it might break. So I'm afraid to break it, but I'm sure it won't break that easily. So you, as you can see, this part right here, there's a hole on her collar at the back, wherein it only goes one way. So you just have to slide it in like so, so in this part, and the other one on this side. So just have to be a bit careful on how you maneuver it in place so there you go this string right here or this wire just goes uh, in front and there's a hole on the thing that she's holding and you just have to insert it like that so there's a little bit of assembly required but it doesn't need any instructions all of which are just self-explanatory uh, it doesn't come with a stand but it comes with a vase because her leg su supposedly could support her on the base so there's a peg on her leg and this is the base so as you can see there's an academy logo on there and all you have to do is slide it in like so so it comes in an angle so let's take a closer look at the figure Himiko Toga stands at around 8 inches from the base to the top of her hand so so I really love the pose that she's in I, I really like it really captures her personality really well and let's take a closer look at the head so the head looks very nice as you can see here she's in a laughing expression so my figure has uh, some dirt on her face but i'll just clean it up later the sculpt of her hair looks really good the paint on her mouth looks great the sculpt of her hair looks really nice i love the way they sculpted her hair costume she's actually in her uniform but it's actually part of her costume so you can see there i don't know what do you call that but, but anyway that's part of her costume and at the back you can see her tank where she actually uh, stores the blood of her enemy she's also holding her knife and that device on her other hand where she uses to suck the blood from her enemy and so far it looks really good her face mask is actually removable you can put it on her kind of put it on her she even has these things on her belt 
she's wearing her skirt she's wearing a short skirt and she has extra knives on her hips here and of course her long socks and her leather shoes actually the shoes looks really good it's painted really well it actually looks like real leather shoes so you can see that there's some gradient to it to make it look more realistic this is the back shoes and that is for that is the figure so as a quick comparison so you'll see how she scales with the other figures i'll put dabi next to her and they look great together they scale really well since uh dabi's there i might as well put shigaraki next to her and she also looked great together so far they are the three villains that we've got in the my hero academia line and uh, they all look fantastic so just an, uh, just as another comparison since we're here i'll put tenya beside her and man they still look great together they all scale really well and i think so far himiko toga is one of my favorite from the line overall i'm really happy with the figure and the pose that she's in is just amazing and i love the accessories that she came with the tanks on her back the extra knives on her hips the way they sculpted her hair actually i forgot to say that there are gradient paint on her head so it looks really good it looks uh, the shadow looks really nice on it the way they created her pose so that they don't need to put a stand on her back looks absolutely fantastic i really love the design that they created for himiko toga if you love my hero academia i highly recommend getting this figure i want to thank mainstream manila for this figure thank you very much mainstream manila i'll put the link down in the description box below on how you can get this figure i hope you visit their store soon because they have an awesome collection of ban presto figures in their store what do you think of this himiko toga figure let me know at the comment section below if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It will really mean so much to us if you do so, if you want to support the channel. That's it for me. I'm David once again. And always remember to unbox your toys!